Well, he's back. Vince McMahon is officially back in the WWE. Whether we want this to happen or not, Vince McMahon has officially been reinstated to the board of directors. And he is officially now back with the WWE. According to the Wall Street Journal, Vince McMahon and his two cronies, George Barrios and Michelle Wilson, have officially been brought back to the board of directors and they are beginning to be filling the positions of Alan Wexler, Joe Allen Lyons, and Jeffrey Speed, who have officially left the company. So, now, what is this going to mean for Triple H? What is this going to mean for Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan, who are the current chair, co-CEOs? Co Stephanie being the chairwoman. What is this going to mean for WWE in terms of the sale, potential sale they might have? And what does it mean for the on-screen on talent? This is the problem. So, just to confirm, WWE is officially released on their website of Vince McMahon's return to the company. As to the following. Today we announce that founder of WWE Vince McMahon will be returning to the board. We also welcome back Michelle Wilson and George Barrios to our board of directors Together, we will look forward to exploring all strategic alternatives to maximize shareholder value. As Vince McMahon stated yesterday, WWE has an exceptional management team in place, and I do not intend for my return to have any impact on their roles, duties, or responsibilities. We'll see. So, right now, it is stating that Vince McMahon is returning, but he right now is saying he's not going to have any impact on the creative direction and the roles for Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, Nick Khan, that he's pretty much not intending to have any type of role in the creative side of WWE. We'll wait and see on that one. We will wait and see. Also, just because Vince McMahon has come back to the WWE and he has mentioned about selling the company, it does not mean that WWE will in fact be sold. So, there have been a lot of people that have been interested in it, like the USA Network, like Fox, like NBC, Disney. A lot of other companies have been interested in potentially trying to buy the WWE. But, it does not mean WWE will be sold. According to w uh, Wall Street Journal, in WWE's press release, the company intends to undertake a review of its strategic alternatives with the goal of being to maximize the value for all WWE shareholders. There is no assurance that the process will result in a transaction, which is pretty much saying there's no guarantee that WWE will be sold in the near future. It's just pretty much stating it out there that they will maximize the amount of share with its stockholders and shareholders with the company going forward. Now, obviously, the, the big statement is, we know Vince McMahon is back. He obviously brought back George Barrios as well as Michelle Wilson, two people that worked with Vince McMahon for years. Now, what is this going to mean for the on-screen talent? And already... Just was just posted about 18 minutes ago. Two things first. According to Angel, Angel Ambrolis of WrestlingNews.com, WWE is apparently going to have an all-hands-on-deck company meeting this afternoon at 3.30 p.m. to discuss Vince McMahon coming back to the company as well as the state of the WWE going forward. So, the meeting is scheduled at 3.30pm 3, and it will be given news talking about Vince McMahon's return to the company 
And obviously Vince McMahon's return is going to be putting a hell of a lot of people in this company on pins and needles in terms of what might happen next. It will be interesting to see what the creative changes potentially could happen as well as the personnel standpoint. If Vince McMahon is going to come back and immediately start making his presence known in this company, potentially overtaking the roles with Stephanie McMahon, Nick Khan, and Triple H, and what it means for oncoming the uh, talent right now on the roster. In fact, it has gotten so tumultuous already just with Vince McMahon being brought back to the board of directors that some people in the WWE, in terms of on-screen talent, are reportedly already wanting out if Vince McMahon is brought back. So Vince is back. But according to PW Insider, Vince McMahon's return has pretty much shocked everyone we have spoken with that within the WWE. And the feeling is that the other than other than people in this inner circle, this took most people in the company by surprise, and there are a lot of people wondering what will be next. The morale and company, the morale in the company is said to have been much better since Vince McMahon stepped away back in last July. This is according to PW Insider. And they also added that they want out if in fact. Vince McMahon has returned. Well, we, we already know he's back. So we're going to have to wait and see if these people are actually going to go by their word. And we'll, now that Vince McMahon is back, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But some have to wonder if people will be let go. As Triple H has brought back a lot of names that were let go by Vince McMahon since he's gotten in charge. We know some of the names. Karrion Cross, Scarlett Bordeaux, Hit Row, Dakota Kai, EO Sky. Tegan Knox, Mia Yim, the OC, <laughs> Candice LeRae has come back, Johnny Gargano has come back, Braun Strowman, Bray Wyatt, a lot of people that have been working under Triple H. It's pretty much going to be an all hands on deck meeting that's going to happen in about four hours from now, four, four and a half hours. This is a very, very fluid situation right now we are going through in WWE. This is unprecedented unprecedented situation right now going on in world wrestling entertainment. Now Vince McMahon is saying that he is not going to interfere and he's not going to take away what Vince, what uh, Nick Khan, Stephanie McMahon and Triple H have done. He's pretty much sticking behind their work right now and he has full belief. That's what he says. But as we all know, and anybody that has watched Vince McMahon and the stuff he's done with WWE in the past 15, 20 years, you can never believe what Vince McMahon has to say. You can never believe it with a full grain of salt. And you have to wonder right now, is WWE about to be dealing with a max exodus very soon? And are we about to see the beginning of the end of World Wrestling Entertainment? with the fact that Vince McMahon is brought back to the WWE. And some people were worried about this. Mitch Kofsky, my good buddy of mine, talked about this yesterday on the wrestling experience with Earl Cole and Mac the Giants fan. We talked about this. That we all had a feeling that Vince McMahon would be coming back in the future. But we did not think he'd be coming back like this, especially with all the allegations he's dealing with. So you have to really wonder, what is the next step with World Wrestling Entertainment as we get into, really, the build towards Royal Rumble and WrestleMania? Is Vince McMahon actually going to stick by his word for once and not interfere in the work that Triple H and his team have done over the past six, seven months to put WWE back in a good position with the fans, with shareholders, with stockholders, with events, merchandise, everything. Is Vince McMahon going to stick by his word and stay out of creative and allow Triple H and his team to do their work? Or is Vince McMahon going to look at his WWE product, not like some of the things he sees, not like some of the talent that's on the show, and start to make his presence again in creative. <clears throat> My guess and a lot of other people's guesses are he probably will. 
Because there's a lot of these stars that Vince McMahon brought back, that Vince McMahon did not like when he fired, that Triple H has brought back, that Vince McMahon does not like and did not want them in his company anymore. You're talking about a 77-year-old man that wants his company back, feels he should have never been let go, feels that he was a mistake, that he listened to these people to let him to pretty much retire. You have to wonder now, what is the future of WWE? And this 3 p.m., 3.30 p.m. meeting, all hands on deck, is going to be a very, very interesting situation. This could actually end up not being as bad as we think, which is hard to believe, but maybe Vince McMahon has cooler heads in front of him and he decides that he's going to let Triple H and his crew do what they need to do to have the best interests of the WWE going forward. Or maybe Vince McMahon decides he looks at some of these people brought back, he looks at the product and he thinks it could be, in his opinion, better, but we all know it would be worse. And you have to really wonder, what is the future of this company? This is a scary situation. If you're a fan of the WWE, if you're an employee of the WWE, if you're a talent contracted to the WWE, what is the future of World Wrestling Entertainment now that Vince McMahon has officially returned to the WWE and is back part of the board of directors? Right now, Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan are still the co-CEOs. But for how long? Right now, Stephanie McMahon is the CEO, is the chairwoman of the company. But for how long? Triple H is the head of creative. But for how long? Vince McMahon might be saying the right things in his press release. But as we all know, you could say one thing and you could do something else. From the famous phrase everybody says, actions speak louder than words. We're all really curious to see what will happen in this 3 p.m. press uh, meeting that WWE will be having. WWE was on the ups, but now with Vince McMahon back, are we about to see WWE go right back down the tube again? We'll have to wait and find out what happens in the future with World Wrestling Entertainment. But I just want to make this video real quickly, just updating all the news that has been happening. Vince McMahon, along with George Barrios and Michelle Wilson, are officially back to the board of directors. Three people have been released from the board of directors positions going forward. Talent is reportedly now absolutely shocked that this happened, and some talent in the WWE reportedly want out with Vince McMahon back in the company, according to PW Insider. And there's going to be a very, very important all-hands-on-deck meeting at 3.30 p.m. within the WWE with Vince McMahon's return to the company. I just want to give you guys this video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this news that has been breaking all throughout the morning. And just let me know in your comment section how you feel about Vince McMahon now back in the WWE, and what this is going to mean for Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, Nick Khan, WWE, on-air on, on talent, the wrestlers, producers, everybody in the company. What is the future of the World Wrestling Entertainment? Thank you very much, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Take it easy, and we'll see what the WWE, we'll really see what the WWE has cooking for us. Coming up.